Welcome to another Fixed Blade Friday. Today we are taking a look at the Adventure Sworn Tradesman. Beautiful, beautiful knife by Adventure Sworn. But first, before we take a closer look at that, can we please appreciate this sheath made by One Tree Leather? This thing is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely amazing. Uh, Aaron knocked it out of the park. I asked him for a cross straw sheath so it goes on my left hip draws with my right hand but he also added on the back a loop that I can have a removable dangler if I wanted to carry it in another style awesome ferro rod loop ferro rod matches the knife handle except for the copper hardware but I digress back to the knife absolutely beautiful blade I believe it's a bit oversized than what Adventure Sworn states on their website. Adventure Sworn says something like five inches. I think this is about five and three eighths, if I remember correctly. But absolutely gorgeous. I have a Coke bottle shaped handle. Most of them come with the triple palm swell handle. I opted for the Coke bottle because I did not know how I would like the triple palm swell. I've tried a triple palm swell and I do like it. But at the time, I didn't want to risk this material here since it's so special and so unique, which is uh, Shockwave Micarta. Basically, it's a uh, coffee bag with, that had black and red printing on it with copper mesh infused within it. And then you have aluminum bolts. I would have gone with copper if that was an option, but it was not. Fits very well in the hand. 1 8 inch thick, convex ground all the way up to the spine, absolutely beautiful knife. Feels very light in the hand, very slicey feeling. I've used this for food prep and I've also used it for some wood tasks. For food prep, uh, mostly meat, things like that, it does an amazing job. You're always gonna get wedging with 1 8 inch thick stock on harder vegetables, other things like that, softer foods will be fine. It can still do it, it just wedges it apart more than cuts it apart. Convex grind is done very beautifully. This is O1 tool, tool steel. It's patinating up very nicely. I've just been testing it a lot. Uh, so, for woods tasks, yes, it's not a woods blade, and I've gone back and forth on this argument a lot, but this front section of the blade right here does very well for woods tasks. And then this rear section, maybe not so much, but it does do everything very well. It's got a very nice sharp spine. Let's flip it over, see this side. But otherwise, very, very beautiful knife. I believe at the time of this video, they do have an option for semi-customs up on their website. It is, I believe, you can choose your steel, it's Scandi ground, and then your handle options are limited. But it's still a very, very well-made, excellent knife. Absolutely love it. Definitely the biggest knife that I own. I wouldn't go any larger than this. And this I would not carry by itself. I would definitely carry a smaller knife along with it. But definitely something that I am looking forward to, to using a lot in the future. So thanks for tuning in, guys. This was Fixed Blade Friday. Just, you know, quick quick looks at knives. Give you guys another shot of that sheath. And make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.